If you're black and you're not excited about voting for Joe Biden, this video is for you. Well, it's about you. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what they're saying about all the Joe Biden critics. It's crazy, they're trying to say Joe Biden's doing great. It's just the blacks just don't, they don't get it. Yeah, they're dumb, really. You've got some big problems. Here's the deal, perception is reality. And so when you look at the data that was provided in this poll, it talks about how people feel. And when people decide whether they're going to the poll or whether they're not going to, to the poll, it's all about how you feel in that moment. And so while the facts may not align with their feelings, their feelings are dictating their reality. Their reality is that they said that they feel better or they felt better when Trump was in office. But we've been trying to push back. We've got some very popular African-American artists that are out here saying things like, oh, I got checks when Trump was in office. I want those checks again, not understanding that that really came from Congress. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple of things, the perception issue. And then we also have an issue as it relates to civics in this country and people not understanding exactly how any of this works. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it. You blacks just don't understand what's going on. These blacks are just stupid. What's, they just, they don't listen well. They get emotional. They're silly. Facts don't align with your feelings. Yeah, you don't like Joe Biden. You don't, you don't like Joe Biden as your president, but you don't know what you like. How were you supposed to know what you like? How are you supposed to know if you're having a good time? How would you know if you're in a better position financially than you were before? Come on, you're black. How would you know that? People say they felt better under Trump. Not everyone. Remember, guys, not everyone. This is not like every black person on the, on the, on the planet is like, hey, things would be much better if we was with Trump. That's not what happened. It's just that the Democrats think they own black people. We own these black people. What are we doing losing 20, 25% of black people? This is unconscionable. How could this happen? They're ready to send a slave patrol. Go get those Negroes thinking they're free running from the plantation. And who do they send? They send her. They send her out here with this word salad Try to dance around because she's throwing black people under the bus, but she can't do it too overtly or there will be some black people that will be like, hey, sound like she's calling us stupid. Hey. Black people need to take a civics class. She's in a bad situation, y'all. She's sitting at a table with a bunch of white women and there's a sister, there's a black woman, she has to find a way to not throw black people under the bus while defending Joe Biden, while that sounded like a mammy, but still trying to uh, defend her party, but also not, not indict Joe Biden and also go after Trump while maintaining looking strong. It's a lot to do at one time, and I, I feel for her on this, but the truth is this. Uh, black people know about as much about civics as white people do. I mean, you don't really think Kid Rock fans are sitting around going, okay, well, the bill has to pass and go to the, go to the House and it goes to the Senate and then uh, be, be an executive or you're going to veto it and the president can veto it and it'll come back through. It. No, they just go like, okay, my lights got cut off. Yeah, I can't pay my electric bill. Uh, they cut my hours at the Piggly Wiggly. Uh, the price of gas is too high. Like, regular people just look at life, and they look at their lives, and they look at what's going on in it, and they look at their bank accounts at the end of the month, and then they decide if they hate the president or not. But, you know, to make it seem like black people need a civics class, but no one else needs a civics class. And at the end of the day, what are we really saying? You know, what are we really saying? What, what's the real point? Would you be doing all these gyrations if people would, were blaming Trump? Yeah, you'd say Trump deserves it. Trump sucks. But since it's Biden, it can't be Biden. Because then 
you don't get reelected, or then your donors dry up, or then they write bad articles about you. So it's self-preservation for Miss Crockett here. But this is bad for, for all of us. And remember, guys, it's not just black people that are cooling off to Joe Biden. So are white women. So are independents. So are young people of all colors and shapes and genders and uh, sexual orientations. Like, everyone is going, we're tired of mashed potatoes. And she's got to tell everybody why the mashed potatoes are great and there's something wrong with your taste buds. Because according to her, the mashed potatoes are amazing. And other people are going, hey, how about tater tots? Maybe string beans would work. But we've been trying to push back. We've got some very popular African-American artists that are out here saying things like, oh, I got checks when Trump was in office. I want those checks again, not understanding that that really came from Congress. Yeah, I hate when, I hate when they say, you know, it's the artists, the, uh, the recording artists, these popular African-American artists. She means rappers. You know, these dumb rappers up here telling these dumb people that that Trump's, Trump was great. They just don't get it. No one's asking Billy Ray Cyrus. Look, I, I don't think people really give a damn about what Kodak Black says about Trump. No, not really. First of all, half of America doesn't vote. So what about that? Now they probably weren't going to vote anyway. Anyone who gets their voting information or decides who they're going to elect or who they're going to vote for based on what's said by Lil Boozy is probably not a person who's going to vote anyway. Yeah, 40% of Americans don't vote. So over 40%. It's like almost 50. So come on, guys. But, you know, you got to throw somebody under the bus Miss Crocker decides it's got to be artists, got to be the rappers. Because those rappers are just, they just don't understand anything. And then they're telling black people who also don't understand anything. And then you got somebody like me who's, I'm Jasmine Crockett. I'm, I'm a representative. I know everything. And I'll tell them what to think. I'm on my job. And somehow that's still not working for the black community because the Jedi mind tricks that they're trying to use to persuade black people are just not working anymore. Because it's been a long time coming. It's not just one reason, it's a lot of reasons. It's the inflation. It's the price of food. The price of gas. This yet another war. It's the money going to Ukraine. It's the money going to Israel. It's the fentanyl crisis. It's Joe Biden pretending to be down with unions when he's really not. It's Joe Biden blocking the railroad unions. It's Joe Biden falling upstairs. It's Joe Biden falling downstairs. It's Joe Biden falling off bikes. Bikes. But I will tell you what the president has been guilty of. He has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally, and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward. And honestly, I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child. Until they find some evidence, we need to get back to the people's work, which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States. And I will yield. What is it with Joe Biden? She needs to start a Joe Biden clothing line. Or a fan club or something. It's hard being a Democrat, man. You got to come up here and defend everything. This guy does. Whew. That stinks. When bad things happen like inflation that we're going through right now. Is that Trump or is that Biden or is that Congress? Because you're Congress, right? The only thing America hates more than Biden is Congress. Biden's approval rating is at somewhere like 37, 38, and Congress approval rating is at 17. Congress approval rating is so low I can't even buy beer. And you want me to believe that America needs to understand that the Congress deserves the credit. 
At the end of the day, Representative Crocker is just trying to do a job and it's difficult defending Joe Biden. And no one would do a good job of doing that. I don't care if it's her or if it's Jim Clyburn or Donna Brazil. They're going to look horrible. But that's your job to come out here and defend this guy. That's why I do this job instead of that job. That's a hard job. This is much easier. I just tell the truth and let the chips fall where they may. It's not all about the numbers. It's also about how people feel about Biden's leadership. That's leadership is important. Okay, uh, the reason why you choose a, a leader, you, a leader is a feeling you get. You, you're being, you're able to go out and make people uh, feel inspired by you. It's something that Obama had. It's something that Clinton had. It's something that Reagan had. It's something that Joe Biden just doesn't have. And that's part of the problem. But no one can just say, hey, it's, it's a lack of leadership. It's the policies, too. It's the border wall, it's the immigration problem, it's the Ukraine, it's the Israel, it's, it's the Palestinians thing, it's, it's, it's all those things, right? But it's also, it's also, it's also about it. Being a leader is a sacred thing. And you can't make people trust you, believe in you, and be motivated by you. They either feel it or they don't. And I think that's what Miss Crockett was trying to say. All right, guys, my name is Tim Black. Subscribe to this channel if you found this content interesting and informative. Go to jointimblack.com for only $5 a month. Become a VIP member. Remember, like I always say, don't let nobody take your cornbread. When they say, wow, Tim Black, you just punched Joe Biden in the electorate. Tell him I said, it's the new day. You're watching the Black Digital Television Network. Become a subscriber for the best in black thought on the internet. We keep it 100 just for you. And remember, it's a new day. Regular people just look at life and they look at their lives and look at what's going on in it and they look at their bank accounts at the end of the month and then they decide if they hate the president or not. Accept no imitations.